What up, Iron Man fans? This is Sean Long of Long Shot Dreams, and I'm bringing another Iron Man movie toy review. This time of the Iron Man movie Hot Toys Mark III Battle Damage version movie masterpiece 1-6 scale collectible figure. Whoo, that was a lot. So let's look at the packaging on here, and oh my god, this is some badass packaging. This is just the box sleeve right here. Uh, this was actually part of the actual box, so let me go into the box sleeve. The sides here you can see is more of the Battle Damage Mark III. It says Iron Man Mark III Battle Damage version. On the back here, we get some great pictures of the Mark III figure with all the different features. You see here with the light up hands, and you see the shoulder cannons, and pop out shield, and pop out rocket launchers, and flares, and head. Oh my god, that's so much. And when we take off the box sleeve, there's more. You can see that it actually has the um, inner workings of the Mark III armor in here, and you can see the actual um, arc light reactor. It says Iron Man Mark III Battle uh, Damage Version. On the side of the box, it says Iron Man Mark III Battle Damage Version. While traveling overseas on business, Tony Stark is gravely injured after being ambushed and taken hostage. While in captivity, Stark is ordered to build a super weapon capable of world devastation. It said, determined to escape, ultimately confront the demons of his past. Stark constructs a nearly invincible suit of armor equipped with powerful repulsor rays and high altitude flight capabilities and escapes. While on his return to America, he becomes the red and gold warrior Iron Man about the powerful armor to protect the world. On the back, we even show more of the features in detail like the damage helmet, the interchangeable chest pieces, the uh, fully deployed air flaps, the re-engineered air brake uh, system, working forearm rocket, uh, ejection shoulder mounted micro min minions pod, or um, man just everything on here is just amazing. And if you thought that was amazing when you actually open the box and has a little velcro to keep it secure, you actually see the actual figure. On this side, we see actually the little chest pieces and the flaps and the nice stand that's reminiscent of uh, where he was on top of the uh, Stark uh, facilities. And on here is the actual um, Iron Man Mark III figure. You can see the Tony Stark head. and just looks absolutely amazing. Oh my god, it's so cool. Okay, enough of the packaging. Let's open up this bad boy. <laughs> So here we got the Battle Damage Mark III, and holy crap is this absolutely stunning. Oh my god. Hot Toys, wow. Now this is the Battle Damage. This is not the full Battle Damage plate uh, or helmet, but this is more, I guess, the um, semi-Battle Damage. But the overall look, you can see that the armor, it just looks amazing. It has all these chips and nicks and all over it. The red is a lot more... Um, Hot Rod Red than the original um, Hot Toys Mark III Iron Man. Just the amount of detail they put on this is just oh, mind-blowingly phenomenal. Like the little detail you can see in all the little nicks and scratches in the armor and in the repulsors right here you can see. It's like, whoa. <laughs> I, I mean, wow, look at the arc chest light and just the detail on this is like, wow. <laughs> so you can see the difference between the Battle Damage Mark III, which is on the, the left, and on the right is the original Mark III the Hot Toys made. Now the original Hot Toys Mark III, you can see, uh, it's a completely different mold, and the red is a lot darker on it. It's not as Candy Apple Hot Rod Red as the newer one. Um, it's it's definitely, you can see here, the differences compared to the, the shinier, glossier red right here in the next. And also, the little um, a chest piece is more uh, darker right here, whereas this one is uh, red. Also, the neck piece, the neck is a separate piece now, whereas this one is, is not because of the way the little light to light up the head was. So now you get a little more neck opposability. Plus these pieces are different because of the added shoulder uh, cannons. And uh, yeah, there's more articulation in, in the, um, the elbows and just, it's it's really cool that Hot Toys didn't just make this a repaint of that, but a completely different new mold and it proves that why Hot Toys is the best. Even the heads are a slightly different mold, which I like. I'm Iron Man, I'm bigger, faster, longer, stronger. You can also see compared to me, you are also drunker and more beat up. Hey, shut up, man. Go bartender, make me another martini or... Oh.
for articulation, the Mark III has so much. His head can rotate full, all the way around as well as go up and down this joint. The neck can also rotate, so he has two, two points and also can go up and down, so lots of points in the head. Now the arms can fully rotate, which is awesome because of the way the shoulder pads are on. Um, it can go in and out, rotate at the bicep right here, bend at the elbow a little bit more than the original Mark III could, uh, fully rotate at the wrist as well as go in and out a little bit. Uh, he doesn't have upper ab articulation due to the light-up feature, but he does have waist articulation. It doesn't fully rotate, but he do, can go left and right quite a bit. Um, you can see that the hips can go in and out, but because of these little p pieces, which I'll get to in a bit, uh, they don't go out as much, but they can go forward and back quite a bit. They can rotate at the upper part of the leg, and these peaks keep going out, and they bend at two points at the knee, and the feet can also... Uh, uh, rotate a little bit as well as pivot forward and back and he does have toe articulation oops this piece fell out but uh, he does have toe articulation so he has quite a bit of articulation a new feature that the bow damage mark 3 has uh, is that on each side of the hips just like in the movie he has the little uh, pop out flares that if you actually rotate this they will actually pop out see the little detail on there and then these little bits pop out you can have it for both sides so it's very cool little feature to have uh, even though these pop out from time to time well hello nurse you want to know why they call me iron man it's my special missile launcher in my well hello there what the hell why so serious stark deploy flares deploy flares another cool feature is if you have the original mark III or the mark ii you can lift up the back flaps of uh, these right here you can see you can lift them up and you get the inner workings of the um ankles or uh, legs of the Mark uh, III and they actually open up a little different way. Yeah, the detail on there with all the little wiring on there is just absolutely stunning just like in the Mark, uh, the original Mark III and Mark II. Just like the Mark III and Mark II is that you can take the, the forearm right here, split this part open and then you, this has the pop out little uh, missile launcher that you used in the movie. It redid the left uh, missile launcher to give it, you don't have to flip out the little missile parts. If you have this figure, you know what I mean. It doesn't have to be flipped out, it just comes out now. And it looks more movie accurate. Another amazing thing that they did, that uh, they added, just like in the end of the movie, you can actually split this one apart. You just move this out here. You can fold out this little uh, tab right here. And you lift up this part right here. And not only do you get a little uh, missile launcher right here if you choose to, you also have that little shield he used at the end of the movie when Iron Monger was shooting at him, so that, that's a cool little thing. See there's a little switch right here on both of his uh, biceps, and that's used for his little switch for his light up uh, uh, repulsor palms, which is cool, just like in the original Mark III and the Mark II, it has that with the interchangeable hands, which I'll show. Iron Man comes with... Uh, two extra pairs of hands plus uh, an extra hand it comes with these uh, semi-open um, repulsor hands for the light up effect uh, another open uh, palm hand another fist and it comes with an, an extra ungloved hand to uh, imitate that scene uh, from when he took off the glove uh, at the end of Iron Man 1. If you remember the original Mark III had these little flaps right here just like in the movie when he's flying so you can lift them up here which is really cool uh, but they actually redid these not only do these lift up as you can see here actually these little metal parts actually have an e extra little folding giving them a little bit more um, to to them giving them an extra little flap and also giving them a little more than just the red plastic but actually metal compared to the original one which looks really badass you can see that they still have the switch now they have two switches one switch in the back to light up the chest reactor and one to light up the eyes and the head so you can flip these both on and you can see he has the really bl bright bluish white light both in his eyes and in his chest and he looks just incredible now to show off one of the coolest features is that when you actually push his little shoulder or his uh, shoulder pads forward See, he has these pop out little shoulder missile cannon things, and it's just like he had in that one uh, kick ass scene in the movie. He has on both sides, and they fold in. You just fold them in the back right here, and you can place them right back in. You see, you can just fold them back right here. The figure comes with this cool little plastic tool that you can use to push him right back in and then you just simply place this part back and then it stays in place because these are spring loaded. So that's a really cool thing too. I am Iron Man. My movie's made over a billion dollars. <laughs>
Dude, shut up with the song already. You're ruining Black Sabbath for me. Seriously. I just gave you a real taste of metal. Now what's cool about the Bow Damage Mark III, he actually has interchangeable chest plates. You can actually take this part out. Oop. Be careful with that. You can see here the detail of the inner workings of the Mark III armor suit. It just looks absolutely awesome. I mean, wow, the amount of detail they put on there. It's so cool. And the Mark III armor comes with this battle damage chest plate that he used uh, when he was fighting against Ironmonger when he got all beat up and stuff. You know, he was fighting the dude and you can actually place it right over him right on here clips into it right nicely into place. He also comes with this really awesome battle damage head, which is really cool. It has little, uh, it looks just like how he did when he fought in the movie. It has really cool, um, you know, dance and uh, uh, smudges, and it just looks badass. But wait, there's more to his head. You can actually open it up, and it has the Robert Downey Jr. face. This part has the same magnets that the Mark II helmet has, and it has the cool little inner workings of the the helmet here and it looks just like Robert Downey Jr. You can see that this head is very reminiscent of the Mark II head. They're very similar with very slight differences mostly in the eyebrows and uh, the mouth and also it added a uh, blood effect from when he was fighting Iron Mon Monger so that's really cool that they gave us um, the same head but also little differences. You also get this really detailed instruction manual so it's really cool that Hot Toys gives you that shows you how to uh, do everything that comes with the figure. The Battle Damage Mark III also comes with this really nice uh, stand. It, it, it's to simulate uh, the top of the rooftop of Stark Industries. It even has little broken glass bits that simulate that. It would be really cool if this actually lit up, but it's alright. It also comes with a little cradle, which I still need to um, put on there to adjust. I can't ever seem to get these things in, but it's still it's a really awesome stand. Oh my god. What the hell just happened to me? Oh my god, that was the best party ever! Woo! Bartender, drinks and donuts are me! Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Battle Damage Mark III is in great scale with other Hot Toys figures like the first uh, Hot Toys Mark III. You can see how much bigger it is than the uh, Repulsive Power Mark VI Iron Man and uh, it's twice the size of its uh, 6 inch Mark III counterpart. Now the Battle Damage Mark III, oh my god, this is definitely the best Iron Man figure yet. I mean we're getting the Mark IV, probably getting the Mark V and VI in War Machine, but out of the two uh, Mark III's that we got gotten, this is definitely the best one. I love, the uh, even with the Battle Damage, I love the paint on it, the detail, I love the improvements, I love the added features like the shoulder cans, the flares, um, all the little different things. I love the Tony Stark head we get. And everything about it is just absolutely amazing. You can get this for... Uh, it's sold out at Big Bad Toy Store, but I, I got this at Alter Ego Comics for like 170 bucks. It's well worth the price. You get lineup features, uh, amazing stand, alternative head, tons of features, and I highly recommend this. This is definitely the best Iron Man figure I have right now. Hope you guys enjoy my, my reviews. Stay tuned for more Iron Man reviews. This was Earth Toy Reviews. Subscribe to my channel. I don't feel like in the Sean Long Saint till next time. Wow, Tony, you've been through hell and you look hell beautiful. There is one thing I want to tell you it's a blah! Ew, Tony, gross! Oh man, I got it in my helmet. Ugh. Ooh, there's a piece of donut in here. Nummy.